Hey guys, welcome to another Division 2 video. Today I'll be showing you my capacitor build. Now this build, you will see many different iterations of it going around. This is just my take on it. Now with the capacitor, you can give a lot of damage. You will see a little gameplay now, and then we'll get into the build. One, 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 one. How'd that work out for you, buddy? Hell, they some throws down there. Bro. Rip me from limb to limb, why don't you? So for the specialization, I use the firewall. The reason why I use the firewall is for the boosted med kit. Because your armor kit recovers 200% armor and 200% health over 10 seconds. And I also use it for the shield, the striker shield. Is good because it boosts the damage of the user and all allies behind them based on the number of enemies in front. Let's get into the main part of the build. For the gun, I'm using the capacitor. Headshot 5.2, body shot 4.3. Let's touch on the talent for the capacitor. Capacitance, shooting enemies, build stacks to a cap of 40. Each stack grants 15% skill damage. After five seconds, stacks decay one per second. For each skill tier, gain 7.5% weapon damage. And the test subject. You can use any gun here. But the reason I, I use it because um, if I'm using a skill, then I can put up my damage on my weapon because if you look at the talent perfectly in sync hitting an enemy grants 20% skill damage for five seconds use a non-shield skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grants 20% weapon damage then I have the same talent on the TDI card custom in sync for the mask I'm using a Walker and Harris with 5% weapon damage 5% damage to armor and 10% to damage to health. Then I have the core attributes as armor, critical hit chance, critic damage, and I have a critic chance mod. Let's go down to the chest piece. I'm using the Fenris group for the 10% assault rifle damage, and I also get 30% reload speed. Core attributes 15% weapon damage, 12% Critic damage and 6% critic chance. And I also have a 6% critic chance mod. The talent, unbreakable. When your armor is depleted, repair 95% of your armor. And I use this because I need to have some survivability on the build. Let's go down to the oldster. I'm using the Picaro's oldster. And the main attribute is weapon damage, 15% weapon damage off the bat. And you have 12% critic damage and armor and for the brand sets you get 10% skill haste and plus one skill tier and the one skill tier will go towards your capacitor the higher the skill tier on the build the more damage you do with a capacitor so this piece gives plus one skill tier for the knee pad I'm using the fox prayer for the damage to target out of cover 8% and then you have armor and critic damage. 
And for the brand sets, you have 10% rapid damage, which we don't need, but we have 10% accuracy. We have another piece of Walk on Iris. And same weapon damage, damage to armor, and damage to health. Then we have the core attributes armor, critic chance, and critic damage. For the backpack, we're using the Ninja Bag backpack, and that's why we can unlock these attributes on these gear. For the core attributes, we have weapon damage, armor, and plus one skill tier, and we have one. 12% crit damage mod. And the talents, resourceful, fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a gear sets bonus. Can unlock bonuses from multiple sets simultaneously. Now let's take a look at the skills that I'm using. I'm using the Defender Drone for more protection and I have it expertise up to 18 with 18% 18 damage reduction. For the next skill, I'm using the Striker Ballistic Shield. I have 1% damage bonus mod, a 5% holstered regeneration, and a 5% shield health. Let's look at the stats. Weapon damage 132, PvP 52. Critic chance 50, critic damage 146.4. Coming up next is some nice gameplay of me using the capacitor. Yeah, 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 that's... 